okay now let us understand data output stream and data input stream in java so this will be a demo on data output stream and data input stream in java so what is the use of data output stream and data input stream classes are it helps us to work with primitive data types say i can very well uh, write an, an integer to the file so when i say writing integer to the file it means uh, writing four bytes normally an integer takes four bytes of data right so data output stream will take care of uh, writing the integer as four bytes to the file so likewise when i read an integer reading an integer from the file it means uh, uh, what is reading an integer from the file reading four bytes of data from the file because an integer is represented as four bytes normally so reading four bytes of data so data input stream when i say i am reading an integer will read four bytes so data output stream and data input stream internally uses us internally uses the file output stream and a file input stream so now let us see how to write an integer and read an integer using data input and data output streams so these streams help us work with primitive data types like we can write integer float double long boolean we can uh, work with strings we can work with characters so we can read characters write characters so we can very well work with primitive data types on the file so let us take a look at reading and writing an integer from the file so it's reading four bytes and writing four bytes first we have to create this uh, file object so let's go with the uh, a new object that's called uh, file and uh, as usual i'll say file is obj new file i'll i'll have a new file where i'm i'm writing satish4.txt so i'll be writing an integer to this file it's not available actually in my directory satish4 is not available it will be created and whenever you're working with files it's always good to put everything inside try catch block so catch exception and uh, e for now let me minimize this console and then sys out i can do e dot get message okay and this entire thing they're going to have it inside this try block right so let me indent it The next thing is we have to create a file output stream because data output stream uses internally a file output stream. So we'll create an object of type file output stream here. File output uh, stream. This I'll call that to be FO. File output stream needs where the file is. So we'll pass the object of the file. So obj is passed as an parameter here. Now we'll go and create data output stream. Let's create it this way. New and then object data output. So data output stream, I'll call this to be D out and data output stream uses an file output stream. Now data output stream can be used for writing an integer data type to the file. So it's just D out dot uh, write int. So there's a method called write int. And I'm, I'll say I'm just going to write this integer value two to my file. So two will be represented as four bytes in the file and written to the file by data output stream and uh, once after writing to i'm just going to close it i'm closing these streams i'll also do f4 dot close here so i've written integer value two of four bytes now i have to read these four bytes so reading in the four bytes of uh, data using data input stream so data input stream will internally use a file input stream so i'll just go and create a pro object of type uh, file input stream here so file input stream and uh, i'll say this is fin and this is nothing but we have to pass the file object opj okay so now we'll go and create this data input stream object here so that is a data input stream we'll call this dn it uses this file input stream that is fin now we can do din dot read integer so we are reading an integer value from the file 
so we can give this method read integer so what is that read int okay so this is going to read four bytes of data and uh, we'll map that to an integer value data is equal to read int and uh, we can just do a sysout of data then we have to close this d in dot close we, we should also do uh, f in dot close perform f in dot close we'll close all these streams and now let's run so we are writing two and we are reading two but we are reading it as four bytes and writing it as four bytes so let's go and run this see two was read from that file so when you're working with these kinds of data types we'll go with for data input and output stream rather than worrying about how many bytes we have to write and how many bytes we have to read okay now we have written an integer and read an integer of four bytes let us take a look at more data types say let's write a string and then boolean value and let's see whether we are able to read these data types so for writing a string we'll write it as an utf8 string so it's write utf so it is uh, i'll write this string this will be encoded as utf8 in the file so whatever data we are writing here is actually converted to an utf8 uh, character set and then it's written to the file so after this we'll also write a boolean value so it's uh, write boolean and we'll say the boolean value true we are going to write so we have written an integer and we have written a uh, string and we have written a boolean now we can read this like that say after reading the integer i can get this string string name is equal to i can do d in dot read utf so it's going to read that utf string so it, it's the data input stream will take care of reading how many bytes when i say d in dot read utf okay and uh, it's a string that is getting read so it will read the string value that is occurring next in the file and then we can also read this boolean so i can say boolean result is equal to d in dot read boolean so we are reading in a we are reading in a boolean value that's it so the advantages of data input and data output stream is we are not worried how many bytes we have to actually read when we are reading in data types like integer boolean or string because data input and output stream takes care of writing and uh, reading primitive data types so here what i can do is i can just print all the data out sys out i can print uh, the name that is the string sys out i can print uh, the boolean result okay so we have written three data types here one is integer string and then boolean and we are reading in uh, integer string and boolean see the number of bytes read and written is taken care of by data input and output streams let's go and run this so you see we are writing two right satish we have written next and we have written true now we are able to read those three items from the file so there is another variation to this say i can very well create a file output stream and then pass it to a data output stream or else what i can do is i can also perform this that is inside this i can go and create a new file output stream this is also allowed and then i can pass the file object so instead of putting that in two lines i can very well create that in one single line this is going to again work the same way So no need to perform a four dot close. See again, it's working fine. You can either write it in two lines or pass the entire object as a parameter in the constructor of data output stream. Likewise, you can also change data input stream. You can put file input stream as an object here in the constructor. So that's about data input stream and output stream.